Today we're diving into something every Salesforce admin should have at least a working knowledge of, and that's Apex. Even if you're not a developer, understanding how Apex works can seriously improve the way you manage your org, communicate with devs, and future-proof your career, which are all things you want, right? So here are 10 things admins need to know about Apex, with a big thank you to this video's sponsor, Salesforce. Let's start at the top. Apex is a proprietary language developed by Salesforce. It's strongly typed, object-oriented, and syntax-wise, it looks a lot like Java and c -sharp. It was designed to be familiar to traditional programmers while integrating tightly with the Salesforce platform. So why should you care as an admin? Well, because Apex is what's used to create custom functionality beyond what declarative tools like Flow can offer. Understanding it gets you one step closer to learning how to really get the most out of these tools. Salesforce is a multi-tenant platform, which means thousands of organizations share the same infrastructure. Certain performance problems in your org could leak over to your neighbors and vice versa. Nobody likes a noisy neighbor. To keep things running smoothly for everyone, Salesforce enforces restrictions on shared resources like CPU time, memory, and database operations. These are called governor limits. That's why Apex code needs to be lean and efficient. If something breaks these limits, it's not just bad practice. The platform will stop the transaction altogether, and we want to avoid that. Apex is not general purpose. General purpose programming languages are used to build whole systems. You can't do that with Apex. It's designed to run when specific actions happen in Salesforce, like saving a record, firing a platform event, or when called by a flow or a lightning web component. This complements Salesforce's easy to build point and click features with a flexible, tightly integrated programming language. With Apex, you might execute complex logic validate data across objects, or integrate with external systems, among many other tasks. But remember, just because you can do it in Apex doesn't mean you always should. Which brings us to... Admins always remember this one thing. Just because Apex exists doesn't mean it's always the answer. If there's a declarative tool that solves your problem, like flows, validation rules, and formula fields, it will be faster to build and easier to maintain over time. But when those tools hit their limits, like complex record sharing rules, data aggregations, or surfacing and calling custom APIs, Apex is the next step. Understanding where the line is can save you time and help you work smarter with developers. At number five, think of Apex as a power up for your existing automations. You can call Apex methods from a flow using invocable methods. This means admins and developers can collaborate more than ever. You can create the flow, a developer writes the Apex action, and it all works together. Invocable Apex is also automatically made available to be used as agent force actions, just like flows. This kind of low-code, pro-code collaboration has been getting bigger for a while, and it's changing how orgs scale. Knowing your way around Salesforce Apex is definitely a handy skill to have, especially as it's so useful. And if you love making the most out of Salesforce's most useful tools, then you should definitely check out Salesforce Foundations. If you think you've heard it all before, we can assure you that there's more. For one, this powerful tool gives you free access to Agent Force and essential service cloud features. With Salesforce Foundations, you can gain free access to engage customers with 24-7 service. Neat, right? Foundations will provide you with robust case management and knowledge-based tools and access to Agent Force to let you easily automate low-touch customer interactions, allowing your service teams to focus on high-impact tasks. Already activated Foundations? Well, you can now test out these new Service Cloud features for free. For more information, including a demo, head over to www.salesforcepen.com slash services, which will be linked at the top of the description. Right, back to the video. 
To enforce platform stability, Salesforce enforces that Apex tests must run before it is moved into your production environment. There's a built-in unit testing framework that is tightly integrated into the platform. Developers can write tests to ensure the correct behavior of their code from their development sandbox through each stage and into production. Well-written, repeatable, automated testing reduces bugs when changes are made down the line. As an admin, it's useful to understand this process when reviewing or collaborating on deployments. Here's something cool. Apex uses the same Salesforce objects as the one you work with in Setup. So if you're familiar with accounts, opportunities, or custom objects, you're already half there. In Apex speak, developer call these S objects. For example, querying data in Apex uses Sockle and it looks a lot like a report filter in text form. If you've used report filters or flow get records, Sockle is the next logical step. Sometimes you don't want a piece of logic to run right away. With Apex, you can schedule code to run later or even run in the background, which is especially useful for long running tasks like data processing. This is done through things like queuable Apex, batch Apex, and scheduled Apex. As an admin, just knowing these options exist can help you ask the right questions when building scalable automation. For instance, if you find that an Apex-based automation is taking a long time and making users wait, you might start a conversation with your developer about asynchronous Apex. When working in a sandbox and moving changes to production, Apex code follows the same life cycle as everything else. It must be deployed, tested, and version controlled properly. You may not be writing Apex, but as an admin, you're often at the center of deployments, so it helps to know how Apex fits into the bigger picture, especially when using tools like one of the many great Salesforce DevOps providers. Finally, if you're an admin today, there's a good chance you'll be asked to do more technical tasks in the future. Learning Apex basics, just enough to read code, understand it, or tweak it, can open doors. You don't need to be a full-time developer, but being able to collaborate with one, speak their language, and understand what's possible, that's how you become indispensable. So there you have it. 10 key things every Salesforce administrator should know about Apex. You don't need to write perfect code or even write code at all, but knowing the fundamentals can make you a better problem solver, a better collaborator, and a more valuable member of your Salesforce team.